Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Evan. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to draw Star Lord. Ah, 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 hooked on a feeling. Mm, 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 mm. So let's get started. Today I'll be using my HB drawing pencil along with a kneaded eraser. Just my usual simple tools. So let's get started. Before we go ahead and start drawing, I like to go ahead and just move my hand in a circular motion just to get the feel of it. And then I start laying down the pencil on the page. You can do this for all of your, you know, lightly drawn circles when you're drawing the head. And once you have, you know, a shape that you like, just a rough circle. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put in a curved horizontal line. And this will represent his eye line. And then after that, we'll go ahead and put in a center line which represents the center of his face it's going to be off to the side right here so we can keep all his facial features uh, straight and when you come down in the front you want to bring that line straight down you don't want it to go back behind uh, the sphere that we just drew and once you like that then we're going to take the distance from his eye line to the bottom of the circle and double that and go down and that will give us the distance where his chin will be. And you want to go ahead and draw in his jawline going back to his ears. And then over here on the outer side of his face. Next we're going to put in his ears. But I think I made it a little bit too high. So we're going to erase it because his ears, the highest they go is the eye line. The top of the ears and the eye line rest on the same guideline. Now I'm going to roll up my kneaded eraser and just lightly erase some of the guidelines. Star-Lord's going to have a lot of detail on his face and I don't want too many of the guidelines getting in the way. Now we're going to go ahead and start lightly putting in his goggles that are on his mask. So right here just below the eye line we're going to put in a simple circle and then the eye that's furthest away from us, his left eye, we're going to make it an oval because it won't really be looking directly at us. So just make that an oval. It's kind of too tall, so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it just a little bit. And it will rest on the other side of that center line. And just lightly put these in. Nothing's too hard about it. You don't have to make sure the circles are perfect just yet. So just above his goggles on his mask, we're gonna put this kind of like little visor I don't know, lip just above his eyes right there. And it's just something small. And his, the front of his um, eyes and his goggles are framed by this kind of outer rim area. It's a very kind of like intricate kind of design that the designers gave him for the movie but he was simplified for the animated series because you can't draw all that detail in the animation unless it's CG. So we're gonna go ahead and simply make sure that this frame that's around his eyes is symmetrical on both sides. We wanna make sure that we stay, that his eyes stay within these guidelines. And kinda of just making sure things are still straight. You can always go back and over and uh, exaggerate not exaggerate but just darken in your guidelines if you need to just to make sure that you know where you are no problem with that just go in and just darken it up a little bit and now we're coming down to where his nose area is his um the vents you want to just put these like little like boomerang shapes or upside down v's on here and he just has three of them we're going to keep it real simple in the film he has a lot more, but we don't want to draw his mask too detailed. It's like drawing an intricate robot or something. So we want to make sure that those V's, the center of those V's rest on that center guide line. And I'm going to put in two additional lines on the side to add an extra detail. Now we're going to add a regular shaped V in between. And now we can erase those guidelines that we had. And now it looks like a letter M. But you don't want to draw that M 
initially, especially if you haven't had practice drawing him a lot, you want to go ahead and put those shapes in just the way I've laid out here. And it'll ensure that your um, that the design of his uh, breathers are correct. Now using my ruler, I'm going to go ahead and just darken in some of these lines because it can get kind of tricky when you lightly sketch them out. I want to make sure things are pretty straight and connected because this part of his helmet or his mask or whatever is kind of like, it's like drawing a robot. You know, you can lightly sketch it out, but at some point in time, all these lines have to connect in some way, shape, or form, and you can't fake it at all. <laughs> so, well, here you can't fake it. I'm going to draw the other side of that mask and giving it some thickness over here. And feel free to use your ruler, you know. If you don't have a ruler, use some kind of straight edge. Anything will work. But it's always good to have a ruler. And now I'm going to go ahead and just darken in his eye outer outline here. But now it's time to, I think these need to be a little bit more perfect. So I'm going to use my stencil. And those of you who have geometry, you know what this is. You use these to go ahead and draw perfect circles. So I'm going to use the 9 16 or rather the 19 by 32 and that will give me the outer circle that I need for his his eye and I want to just make sure it's straight on there darken that in and now I need a perfect circle for the inner edge of his eye frame making sure these guidelines line up and going with the 7 16 here and let's use this one and see how this looks it's not bad but it needs to be a little bit thinner so let me go ahead and see what other size we can use besides that one okay so we do have another one that looks even better so I'm gonna go ahead and erase that and use the 1532 yeah so this gives us a thinner frame and we can work with that and now for his other eye since it's not a perfect circle we're gonna have to go ahead and just sketch in an oval shape but also give it some dimension so let me go ahead and just take my time with this one and just draw it and they they do make oval shaped stencils, but I don't have one. Or I do have one, but it's buried somewhere in my garage. So we're going to go ahead and here we can go ahead and fake it. It doesn't have to be very perfect at all. We want to get the outline in there and then have the inner ring kind of begin and end inside that outer ring right there. And now we're going to go ahead and add some more detail to his little visor area that's above his eyes um, it kind of dips down in the center and kind of goes across and I'm just darkening it in and you can find reference online for it I looked at his the Guardians of the Galaxy um, art of book and it's super detailed I mean that mask you know no one would want to draw that but I also looked at comic book reference that uh, Star-Lord has for his mask and they simplified it a little bit more so I took kind of a version of that comic book mixed with the film style to kind of like give us something that's a little bit more that's still you know uh, has the main features of Star-Lord's mask but also is easy enough for you to remember and draw like if someone asks you to draw Batman you can draw Batman or you can at least describe how Batman looks but for Star-Lord's mask you definitely need reference so now coming down to his uh, chin area we're gonna start drawing his rebreather and just at the bottom you can just draw some kind of simple pyramidish looking shape 
and just quickly lay it in there. Nothing detailed, just a pyramid kind of like sticking out and keep it very simple, nothing complex. Click here to watch part two of me drawing Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Evan. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to draw Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey, 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 what's the matter with your fine and your mind and you look so divine? You like that one? Or oh, is that out? Should I take that out? I don't know. And if you're still having a hard time coming up with your own superhero body, then click the link below in the description and get my free superhero mini course. Get started right now. Don't wait.